I think every generation actually has its own characteristics. And if you look around, younger generation actually have two things that I think they're known for actually these days, which is sharing and openness and also helping other people. I feel like there is this culture of sharing that is around us, it surrounds us that, okay, how do we engage with that? How do we, again, get customers what they need to be successful with our tools? Under the default system of content, the creator of our work basically gets all the rights reserved to themselves, uh, which sounds pretty great until you realize that maybe sometimes you don't want all those rights to yourself. Uh, you want people to be able to remix it, you want people to be able to translate it, you want people to even just be able to share that, which they can't do under default copyright. A lot of professors and universities and so forth would come to us and go, I'd like to take that content and expand it. Well, they had to get permission from us. And so that stops a lot of them. And so what I love about Creative Commons is it just says, hey, take this material, repurpose it, reuse it, give it back to the community. You know, allow a teacher somewhere else to be able to take what you've done and either use it or transform it again and again. I'm hoping that we'll see a broader range of materials out there that will meet specific needs of, of, more, of more users. When you make things more available under a Creative Commons license or an approach like that, you also see that more people contributing leads to better information, better educa education materials, and better products. It's, it's very clear what they can do with the content. And we do see more people taking advantage of the content, using the content, and creating learning events around the content that, um, that does exist. So I think having a, this platform and this kind of new policy in openness is embracing once again more sharing culture that is already set outside.